Facts, and today we are reacting to Ricky Gervais Reads the Bible. This is from Universal Comedy. Let's see what he has to say. And because I want this uh, show to be uh, educational and thought-provoking and not just a bit of stand-up, I will, of course, be touching on the most violent and destructive animal on the planet. The giant gorilla, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Uh, so, some people think the most violent and destructive animal on the planet is man. <laughs> Hello? That would rip a man to pieces. <laughs> Think, look. Ah! Look at the size of him. They're buildings. God, no man would. Uh, the worst, most prolific mass murderer would. Uh, what's it? Dr. Harold Shipman wouldn't be able to. He would not. How would he get that in an armchair when its kids were out? It wouldn't. He <laughs> couldn't. He couldn't. Ah! Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck at it. Worst dictators in the world. Who's killed the most? Pol Pot. He's, he's killed the most. 100,000. You know who Pol Pot is? The bloke in charge of Cambodia. Um, he killed 100,000 people. He'd shit himself if he saw that. <laughs> so, this is absolutely. How do you do that to 100,000 people? How? 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 True, he, he, he rounded up anyone he thought was intellectual and had them executed. Absolutely true, 100,000 of them. And how he told whether someone was intellectual or not was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. <laughs> <laughs> they're thick, don't you? They're thick. <laughs> they're like, mm, yeah, well, kick it up, look out, here comes Pol Pot. All right? <laughs> yeah, 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 not too bad, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, lovely, it is, yeah. Oh, going through, see, like, yeah, see, like, fucking wanker. That's, I could solve the world's problems if I cared. Oh. I love that he's always drinking, he's always drinking an adult, an adult beverage. I love that. I love it. <sighs> Not all gorillas are that big, obviously, that's, but they're still pretty big. You see a mountain gorilla up close in the zoo or, you know, in the wild, kill it before it kills... No, I'm joking. They're very, <laughs> they're very passive. They're honestly very passive, totally vegetarian. Um, unlike some great apps like chimps and bonobos, they get a bloodlust, they hunt a monkey. A gorilla will only ever eat vegetation. It will never attack unless provoked. And um, this was illustrated quite well a few years ago. Do you remember when that uh, little toddler fell in the gorilla enclosure at the zoo? Oh, I do uh, remember that. Free. And uh, he fell down and he um, knocked himself unconscious. And this big silverback, his name was Jambo, just started walking towards him. And the people he was with and the people at the zoo, they were going spare, they were screaming, they didn't know what to do, they were at their wits end. They filmed it. <laughs> didn't completely lose the plot. They probably figured if we lose him, we make 250 quid. <laughs> I mean, insurance, not a complete disaster. Send it like Jeremy Beard or that big one off Emma, what's her name, Erwin Trude. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Um, I don't watch that. But the, um, the, the mountain gorilla came and sat with him, just looked after him until the, the authorities got in, shooed him away, and it was fine. The kid was absolutely fine, and uh, they didn't send it off. But it was fine, it was a happy ending, and that's fairly typical. I was watching that with my nan, and she was getting on a bit then. Mm. And uh, <laughs> well. That story was crazy. I think the the fear, right, of just like the unknown, but I do know that uh, that is true about gorillas. It's like they really want nothing to do with us. We bother them more than anything. <laughs> She's dead now, but, and uh, it's true. It's she Nana said, Grandma. She said, look at that, he was lucky, because usually they gobble them straight up. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> How many kids has she think thrown to the gorillas in her time? <laughs> she also said, right, uh, she's dead now, but she was on the way then. And, um, <laughs> uh, uh, the neck up. But uh, she, uh, do you remember the Strange Ways riots about 10 years ago? And the prisoners were up on the roof for about three days, and the guards and police couldn't do anything. They were, just, uh, they were ripping the place to pieces. They were putting the tiles off, and they were just throwing it down for about three days. She went, look at them. They should be locked up. 
Oh. <laughs> Very rare, luckily, giant gorilla. Um, no, uh, one official sighting, New York, 1930s. Um, <laughs> made the news because it grabbed a starlet of the time, Faye Ray. Uh, she's... She's pretty big. <laughs> I used to uh, think we evolved from apes. Um, Darwin's theory of evolution through natural selection seemed pretty watertight. But in, in doing research for this show, um, I, I came across a theory um, that deviates from Darwin's, and, uh, and I believe that. It's, I just found it in a dusty old book in a, in a library. It's called The Bible. <laughs> And uh, Darwin was wrong. Um, we didn't evolve. God made us. Um, so I just want to explain to you exactly. Is the show called Animals, or is it just a topic? And so they put it up on the screen. I don't know. Exactly how that happened. Okay. The first book of Moses, commonly called Genesis. Start at the beginning. Um, it's a fairly big book, but... <laughs> Friday, innit? Um, lock the doors. Lock all doors? Okay. Took me four years to get this platform, now they listen. <laughs> just think if I'd have blown it, just going door to door. Right, okay. Oh, my God. Um, some of the things you, you, you'll hear um, do sound a little bit far-fetched. I admit that. I thought it was. But, but um, then I found out that the other name for the Bible is the Gospel. So it is all true. So, <laughs> luckily, clue is in the title. Okay. Come on, come on. It's the Bible. Okay. Is this a cross? Is this, is this a cruci... This is Jesus on the cross up here that they have illuminated? Y'all can't really tell because I have to have it... Um filtered for copyright reasons, but there is in fact like a stained glass kind of depiction of Jesus um, on the cross. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I am a Christian. I am a believer in God and the Bible, um, but I love to hear all people's perspectives and I, I love to laugh. So you put those two things together and I'm here for it. Chapter one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth doesn't go into detail. Um, <laughs> he doesn't need to explain to you. You probably understand it because he's got a massive brain. Yours is little, and, he, and you go, "What?" He goes, "Don't what? Just trust me. I, I, I did." Um, and also, I did. If he ex explained it to you, it would like ruin the enigma. Do you know what I mean? You'd go, "That's amazing." He just said it's a trick, and you go, "Oh." So it's like seeing. No, it's like David Blaine did something, and you go. Oh. That is real magic. And you go, no, I'm just standing on one leg and lifting the other up. <laughs> Easy. So, keeps his cards very close to his chest, God. Good luck. Good luck to him. He can do what he wants. He can do anything, so he can do what he wants. Okay, here we go. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Bit dark, he sorted that out. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Huh? Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on, that's amazing. He just made, he made light up. Just, it was dark, it was nothing before. It's not like he saw someone on holiday and went, that'll be good back on Earth. He made it up. Do you not, you're, it, he invented, there was no, there was nothing to go by. It wasn't like there was twilight and he went, let's have that a little bit brighter. He, <laughs> he just went, let there be light and, there, and at the speed of light, he didn't go, let there be light. Come on, I'm busy, it's the first day, I've got a lot to do. I've only got seven days, it just, do you know what I mean? He, and he probably didn't have to say it. He did say it, but he could have gone, mm, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Brilliant. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, he's amazing. What are you? <laughs> Free your minds, listen. Right, okay. Free your minds, listen. Um, yeah, Christianity is 100% based off of you believing the supernatural. 100% you having faith in what you're reading and believing it. That is to be true. And to some people, that is wildly absurd and to others it is wildly comforting and um believable <laughs> but in the way that he's reading it a hundred percent agree with him like this sounds bonkers right <laughs> you can't contest that it sounds crazy but um 
that is the radical belief that is Christianity. <laughs> so he did the light, invented it, which means that he created the heaven and the earth in the dark. <laughs> Fucking hell! How good is that? I'd have gone, right, let's have a little bit of light on the situation. Let's see what we're doing, right. Right. <laughs> I need we some planets. Screw this light bulb um, in. <laughs> valid points there. Valid, valid points. And very funny, Ricky. Which he is always very funny. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.